Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar taking a look at video compression techniques inside Apple Compressor. In this excerpt, I'll show you how we can create a special folder called a destination in which we can save all of our compressed files. Notice this warning here. It says that I have a location assigned to the compressed file of the movie that doesn't exist. So what does that mean? It means that over here I have two hard disks. I've got a server volume as well. I have two hard disks. This is my boot drive. This is an external drive. On my external drive, when I'm compressing video, let's just move this over, I've created this folder called Compressed Files. Compressor gives us several different options on where we save our compressed files. We can save it to the desktop, we can save it to the same location as the source movie, we can save it to the movies folder on our home directory, and I don't like any of them. I like having all of my compressed files be on a second drive stored in a single location, so if the file's there, I know it's been compressed, and if a file is not there, I know it hasn't been compressed. So I create the compressed files folder. Then. I go over to Compressor and I click on Locations. This is a different hard drive, so I'll just delete that location. Click the plus key, and it says, okay, you're going to create a new location. Where do you want to go? I'm going to go to the C drive, click on Compressed Files, and click Choose. I've now created a custom destination, which I use for all of my compression, constantly, all the time. I always have a Compressed Files folder on any computer I'm using for compression but it hasn't updated this location because this is a hard drive that isn't attached to my computer. So I go up to Compressor, I set Preferences, and I always change the location so that by default it's applied to the compressed files location. This means that when I add a new job to Compressor, it by default puts it in the right spot. Now to replace the location, grab the compressed files I just created and drag it on top of the one that's missing and notice it's now changed that location. The warning sign is gone, and all of my compressed files are going to show up here inside the compressed files folder. I do this at the beginning of starting any, any compressor on any new system, or when I go out and do training, I always create a compressed files folder because it just makes your life so much simpler at being able to find stuff. This has been an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar taking a look at video compression techniques inside Apple Compressor. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 153A. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.